Hey, Barry, I am here in one of the most beautiful places on Earth, the Hawaiian Islands, where plenty of folks come looking to find a little bit of love and romance. But for the lead character in the new film, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Hawaii also means finding a whole lot of heartache that is hysterically funny. As you know, I love you. Are you breaking up with me? Breaking up is so very hard to do, especially for actor Jason Segel in the new irreverent comedy, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Sexy crime fighter Sarah Marshall has been spotted cozying up to singer and notorious Lothario Aldis Snow. <laughs> She's dating somebody. And until I do the same thing, I'm gonna feel like I wanna die. I think that went really well. Siegel plays the heartbroken, jilted boyfriend of TV star Sarah Marshall, played by Kristen Bell. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of her. Why don't you go on a vacation? I could go to Hawaii. Welcome to Turtle Bay and enjoy your stay. Peter, what are you doing here? Came here to murder you. Jason, when I saw this movie, yes. I'm thinking, the guy who wrote this has really gone through some serious heartache. Yeah. Has his heart ripped out by a woman. Yeah. Did you bring some own personal experience to this? I, I tend to get my heart ripped out by women in general. I, uh... <clears throat> I didn't rip your heart out. Yet. Hey. You were good <laughs> to him in this film. Yeah. It was. She was really sweet to me. Uh -huh. It was the only time that a woman has ever treated me like that, and I had to pay her and forward her career. <laughs> Thank you for taking me out. No, I had I had a great time. Thank you. You did? Yeah. But despite his attraction to Mila's kindly character, <laughs> Jason also has a hard time forgetting his ex. Nice room. No! I am in the Kapoor suite. What are you doing? Sucker! Have fun. Back to your room. Did you enjoy that? Did you like what you saw? A lot of people talk about how there's kind of a double standard in films, at least up till now, where there's too much female nudity and not enough male nudity, but you've pretty much blown that whole argument out of the water because you were just letting it all hang out several times throughout this film. Yeah, well, let me tell you. I've been very concerned with gender equality as mm -hmm. an issue. Mm -hmm. And not only in America, <laughs> but in the world. Do you want to put some clothes on? Would you like to pick out the outfit that you break up with me in? When a woman is naked, she has the luxury of knowing men have all sorts of different tastes. You know, some men like bigger women, smaller women, big breasts, little breasts. There's not a lot of women out there <clears throat> who love small penises. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna be judged on one criteria. So that terrified me, but uh, yeah, I think male nudity is hilarious. Another thing that's hilarious in this film is a reverent British comedian, Russell Brand. Awful, bloody film. I see it's just ridiculous. Mm. Premise, uh, oh, what would happen if your mobile phone killed you? Why would a mobile phone kill anyone? It doesn't make sense. How can a mobile phone have an agenda and kill people? I told her that when she read the script. Yeah, you were the voice of reason, mate. Brand plays Kristen Bell's new rock star boyfriend. And both on and off screen, you never know what he's going to say. Who handles being dumped better, men or women? Hermaphrodites, because they think, well, I've got the whole of the whole of the world to have sex with. And I've got both genders. They got, and so double the heartbreak, too. Not that necessarily, isn't. because if you like, well, Kristen is a hermaphrodite. She can, she's best to, yeah. I, what's it like? Uh, it's pretty easy. I, I'm yeah. surprised the tabloids haven't gotten a hold of that yet. Well, Russell comes up with a new rumor about me every week. For the record, Kristen is 100% all-female, which is why both had a good on-screen chemistry for their comic love scenes. About a week into knowing each other, we were put in a room, and we were told to use our yoga expertise and come up with um, about 15 really weird positions mm -hmm. and contort ourselves. And it wasn't even a very clean room. There was straw on the floor mm -hmm. and rats in there and stuff. I was just get in there and learn about sex. Yeah. But as good actors, you rose to the challenge. Yeah. I did rise to it, and to tell the truth, it was called, I was called unprofessional. <laughs> Cut! Oh, no, no, we'll use... You, what is the best advice... No. I, I like you, you. You flustered me, man. Where are you from? You're I'm unusual. from Boston. <laughs> and Boston. I don't know how to handle you. There was no one else like you in the whole of Boston. <laughs> and there's everywhere. no one like you, sir. Well, this is awkward. It's a bit more awkward now. You need a hug. Come here. You need to get back on that board. Oh, oh, oh wow, wow, you got coral on your leg. Can you get out of my leg, please, hotel man? You sound like you're from London.
Forgetting Sarah Marshall opens up in theaters on April 18th, and with this location and this cast, I've got a feeling it's going to be a real big hit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think this Mai Tai's got my name on it. Hey, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Hey, see you back in the studio, Barry. Aloha.